everybody. I'm Steph. I'm Michael. And today we're checking out Rule Benders. Yeah, from Game Brewer. Yeah. Plays two to five players. Yes. Uh, the game box has 75 minutes. Let me tell you, when we played a five player game, uh, when we played it at Tantrum Con, it was much longer. It was probably three to four hours. <laughs> it was. Everybody was learning. It was, it was definitely. It was a learning game. It was definitely a learning game. It was the long slog though. So we have never played this with two players, so we're going to give it a try with two. There is a, originally this was meant to be a three to five player game. Mm -hmm. So uh, during the Kickstarter, they announced that they were going to be creating a two player variant because of all of the comments that they got. Um, and they did indeed include that two player variant in the rules. So we are going to play with this variant using this little critter called Flexo. So Flexo is going to be our green player. And uh, yeah, it'll be a new experience for uh, us. So um, bear with us as we sort of stumble through it. So, <laughs> and it's been a minute since we played, you know, like three months or so. So, uh, hey, let's get right to it. Let's take a look at this wild board where we're going to bend some rules. <laughs> So it's huge, by the way. It is. I mean, this is a fairly sizable, yeah, we, circle we going on here. Camera way up high. So at the start of the game, you're going to select four theme decks, and then you're going to put the little theme tokens here in the middle. Um, we're going to shuffle each of the theme decks individually and put them as so. Uh, the themes that we have available are sci-fi, fantasy, Arabian Nights, and prehistory. Uh, we do not have the pirate or zombie decks because those are uh, heavy on the attack side. And we have just chosen to go with non-attack cards here yes. uh, on this one. Uh, Steph does not like take that games that much. Uh, I don't mind it so much, but uh, um, since it does give you a little diagram of uh, hey, sci-fi is strong on strategy. Fantasy is large on items. Um, Arabian Nights has a good bit of defense in it. Uh, Prehistory is more about strategy and items and a little bit on attack and defense. So we are going to play with these four theme decks. Um, each player has a set of 20 of these uh, cubes. Uh, these are called uh energy? help me out energy cubes I think. yes energy cubes um we each have 20 and we each start off with seven chips uh we will be spending chips and energy cubes and uh cards as currency to make certain other cards in our hand happen ultimately we want the most chips though right so at the start of the game we have used the start cards in order to set up the initial rules for the game. So we've got uh, three, four cubes. Uh, so three energy cubes, six cards, eight uh, cards in hand. Mm. Um, we're gonna we start off with cards as the current currency, and uh, we're gonna get a two to one chip at the start of each phase. So, um, what's gonna happen is, um, we are going to receive income and then we're gonna take turns placing an energy cube on an open space or a tiebreaker spot over here. Or, we can play a card. And if we play a card, then we have to pay the amount uh, of our current currency to get the card. So. Um, with the income, um, we are going to do this. We're going to first get an exchange token based on what it says here. So it's two to one. We're each going to get a two to one spot. Um, then the start player is going to gain two chips. Everyone else is going to get one chip. Now, Flexo is not going to get any chips. He has an unlimited amount of chips and cards. However, um, he doesn't actually hold any chips or cards. Um, we are going to take energy cubes. Uh, it says three on our current rule. So each of us gets 
three. I'm gonna put all my chips and cubes over here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, and we are then going to draw cards in player order up to our current hand limit. Uh, we can draw cards from any theme or the Flexo card deck, which is in the middle. Uh, you can't look at any drawn cards until you've drawn all of them. Uh, that's indicated. So of your six cards, you can't look at three of these and then decide to switch over. So to even though else. our hand limit is eight, we still only can draw. We six. draw six. Okay, I'll take two of these. Two of these. And currently, two of these. our current theme is prehistory. Um, Steph chose that at the start of the game because she is the first player. Um, and currently we can see on here that when we play cards, we can play this theme or the opposite theme. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Um, so let's see here for the two player variant. Um, at the start of round turn, round one, before any turns, but after the setup cards have been used by each human player, shuffle all five setup cards. So what are we using the setup cards for each human player? That, I, I, I don't quite understand that because we don't really, we, we set up the game with the start player, but we didn't really do, I don't know, I don't know. What are you doing? I just shuffled. Yeah, but there's something up here. I don't know. Okay. Well, I, I don't know what, what you're looking I can try and look while that. you keep explaining. Uh, look where? In the rule book? Yeah. The rule book that I'm holding? That I'll look online. Okay. So let me go around and explain uh, a few things about uh, each of our rules. Um, when we place these energy cubes, we're going to... Place them on any of the seven open spaces. You can see where you get the little the little stars. We can um, put our energy cubes in the little starred spot, or we can place it on the tiebreaker track in row eight in the lowest spot available, um, the lowest numbered spot, but it has to be in uh, row A. Um, if you play a card, it has to match the theme that's going on here. Now, um, if, if the rule is moved all the way over to the X, you can play no theme cards. If it's over to the next one, cards of the active theme only, active and opposite, active and to the sides, or active and any other spots. So basically any theme card can be played. So, hey, that's this rule panel right here. Um, and notice that there are three different, the, all three of our tokens are there. So um, we can, we can each have a different rule going on based on where we move our disc. Um, if you decide to play a card, there is a number on the top that says how much the card costs. And this one costs one. Well, one of what? Well, you check out the current currency and the current currency says cards. If it's over here, it's cubes. If it's over here, it is chips. Now, how do I know which one of these I have to pay? Take a look at this rule over here. Um, no, that's the exchange rate. Where is the current the one, that, oh, it is, it's this rule right here. Um, if your disc is on any of these spot, you spots, you must pay on the current currency. If your spot is on this, you can pay with the current currency or the alternate currency. You'll see a, you might see a, a darker currency uh, next to the uh, lighter colored current currency. Instead of cards, if your disc is here, you can also pay in chips. Uh, for this one, it's cubes or cards. This one, it's chips or cubes. Uh, if you're moved over to here, then you can pay anything, any of the currency types that you want. Um, then you put the card in front of you. If it is a fuel card, it will have a uh, silver colored title and they're played 
uh, face up in front of you, but you're going to discard it at the end of the round. If it is a, a teal card with an underline, those are dashboard cards, and those are going to stay face up in front of you until the end of the game. And you'll notice that this has a tap effect. Basically, you just turn this 40, uh, 90 degrees to show that you have used that card. But that's going to be yours to use for the rest of the game. Um, at any time, you can turn in your exchange token to get two of something. I mean, you spend two of something to get one of something. Well, what can that something be? Well, take a look at this rule down here. If your rule is down here on the X, you cannot do any exchanges. If you are on one of these two spaces, you can exchange some, uh, any two of something for one of the current currency. If it's over here, you could choose current or alternate currency. If it's over here, you can do anything for what you receive. Put that back in front of me. Um, what else do we have here? Um, we're going to keep going around and around the table until all players have passed. The first time any one of us passes, Flexo will immediately pass or... Alternatively, when Flexo runs out of cubes, Flexo will pass. Um, then we are going to check, starting with the theme rule panel, we are going to go around the board and see um, who has more energy cubes in the rule panel. Uh, the player with the majority of energy cubes will score the rule panel if there's a tie, we're gonna to check to see if anyone wants to break it using the tiebreaker track. Um, going from left to right, the first tied player that has an energy cube on the track in either row A or B will get to say whether they want to break the tie. Uh, if you move uh, the energy cube uh, to the open space of the next connected, uh, the, the next spot, um, no. You can move that energy cube to the space where we're going. Uh, like if I have two and Steph has two and I have an energy cube here, I can move this, or even if it's on B, I can move this over here, thereby breaking the tie. Um, normally there's only gonna be one cube in each of these columns, uh, but that could have a, it could be broken by some sort of a card effect. So if there are two cubes, the one close furthest down, meaning B, will be able to break the rule before the one in A. So it goes across, but inside a column, B beats A. Give you your cube back. We should have three cubes. Steph, there's your third. Um, so we're gonna go all the way around. Um, and when the winner's determined, the winner can move the rule panel marker, the theme marker, or player order discs uh, in the rule setting box to any position of their, of their choice. So uh, if you do rule changes, you're gonna change the rule, which is the setup for that next round. Um, you could move your, uh, you can also, or optionally, uh, or instead of the rule changes, um, you can, like the rule changes here, you can move your evolution disc one step in any direction. So if you wanted to change this rule, basically you are changing the theme. You can change the theme to whatever you want it to be. Uh, if you're changing this rule, you're changing how many cards somebody can hold in their hand at the end of a player's turn from five to eight. Uh, if you change this rule, you're gonna exchange, you're gonna uh, change which exchange token that we are all going to get at the start of each, uh, during the in each income phase. For currency, you're going to choose the type of item that's required for payment. Uh, for start player, you're going to choose um, whether to be start player and also that's how many chips you're gonna receive. Uh, taking energy cubes, whether you get between three and six cubes uh, and drawing cards drawing from three to six cards. Um, 
If you advance your evolution disk toward either side, toward the electron side or the neutron side, uh, is that what it is? Neutron side? Nuclear. Nuclear side. That's right. It's electron and nuclear. Um, oh, forgot to mention, if you played a Flexo card this round that matches the icon of the rule panel you just scored, you can move two spaces instead of one. Oh, yeah. Ultimately, you're trying to get all the way over to one side or the other. Um, the electron side is going to basically make a negative rule happen, uh, a, a difficult rule happen. Uh, this side modifies it positively. But these tokens have less of a chip yield than these tokens. So it's sort of a, a risk reward sort of thing. Um, but you have a better bonus as you play. Better bonus game. as you play, better chips on the on For the electron game, side. Yeah. Um, some cards might even allow you to place one of these times two scoring modifiers. Mm. And so you can put that around. If you know you're winning it. If you think you're going to win it. Or if you think you're gonna, your opponent's gonna lose points, because some of them are negative. I think. Uh, yes, some of them are negative, mm. um, and that's not good, obviously. Um, so um, when you would advance off the track and onto one of the electron or nuclear spaces, you're gonna flip the token. You're gonna gain that chips. You're gonna multiply it if it's got a little times two on it, and you're gonna take the token. Uh, leaving your disc on the closest evolution spot. You can no longer advance beyond the end of the track because, hey, there's nothing left there. And at that point, maybe you could go the other direction and try to claim that other one, though. That would be rather difficult to do both of them. It is it, possible. It would be hard. It is hard. But if you get the right cards, I suppose. Yes. So, um, at the end of the game, all player discs are going to receive chips from unclaimed tokens for whatever zone that you're in. Uh, let me fast forward to that and let everyone know how much that is. Whoever is closest to the nuclear or electron token is gonna gain chips equal to the value of that token, multiplied if possible. And in the case of a tie, all players are gonna gain that much. Everyone else who is in the same zone, but not closest will gain chips equal to that amount, multiplied if possible, Minus two. So if the result is negative, you got to pay chips instead of gain chips. Yep. So um, at the end of the game, you're also going to gain one, three, six, or 10 chips for each set of one, two, three, or four differently named set collection cards. So if you like set collection mm -hmm. games, this might be super fun for you. Um, Let's see, what else do we have here that I have not described? I think that should be just about it. A lot of these will just determine whether you can hold more or fewer cards, whether you draw more or fewer cards, more or fewer cubes, more or fewer chips, based on where you are on each track. Um, and that should just about be it. Um, when we're playing with the AI player, we call, like we say, we play, we call him Flexo. Um, he will place these energy tokens onto these spots and he can win control of these areas. And whenever he moves his evolution token, he's gonna draw a card and move it a certain amount of spots. Lost Torpedo says, is it a TARDIS control panel? Well, it might be bigger on the inside. So, uh, yeah, at the end of the game, basically, uh, whoever has more chips will win. Um, they are the ultimate rule bender. In case of a tie, whoever is first wins. So that's pretty cool. Um, so, I let's... I didn't see anything about these cards. Yeah, so. set up the game as you would for three players at the start of round one. After the setup cards have been used by each human player, whatever that means, shuffle all of them, flip three. That's the three different actions he immediately takes. And at the start of each round, we're going to draw three more for Flexo's preparation. Um, I believe you can always play Flexo cards on your turn, which is why you chose one. 
I chose two. Oh, you chose two. two wow. Two, and two, 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 and two. That's probably a good plan. All right, so draw three for Flexo. These? Yes, those are setup cards. One, two, three. Yeah, no, they can't see them down there, but that's fine. I got nowhere really to put them. So. Yeah, no, they're over on your side. Yeah, I don't, don't have to stay. I just want to see them. So the top things is what Flexo is going to do. Um, the one with the lock on it, he's going to add one cube on a locked space. Flip one Flexo card to determine which rule panel. Um, this that one. Um. On a locked space. Yeah. I forgot to uh, mention the lock the the lock spaces thing. Um, if I can remember. They are locked. Oh, I forgot to uh, mention the cleanup phase. Um, you discard your fuel cards. You untap any cards that are tapped. You move all the cubes on the tiebreaker track from a from B down to the. These are chips. You're going to get a chip for everything that goes from B down. A goes down to B, and so it clears the spot for A. And then you're going to move the round marker. Basically, you're going to play four rounds. Once that's done, the game is over. Um, for the scoring phase. Do, 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 do. What's the ones on the lock spaces? I can't, I can't remember what that is. I think when they always count towards your um, area control, but they never get removed. They never get removed, even when you, <laughs> even when you win a spot. Yep. Oh yeah, the whoever has the majority discards only their energy cubes from the open space, not the lock space. Back to the general supply. We so. Have we have a prediction going on for those who want to participate. It's about half over, so. Sounds good. All right, so that was that one. Then the next one, Flexo adds one cube to the tiebreaker row in uh, row, row A. I can't, I can't yeah, just, you were grabbing for it, and I stopped. And then nothing happens for this one. Cool. So that should be it. So let me just shuffle those each time. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, Flexo can start in any position of the player order, taking into account setup changes, but when executing Flexo's turn, be consistent with player order. Basically, Flexo will just sit between us, I guess. Yeah, I think it will go me, Flexo, you. Yep, sounds good. Okay. Or if I'm first, me, me you, you, Flexo. Yeah, sure. So he's he is just sitting right here in Senor Azul's spot. Yeah. Actually, we'll just call him Senor Azul, except he's not he's not blue. Blue. Mm. That's probably probably call him. What is green? Senor Verit? I don't remember. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> French, yeah. That's French. What is what is green in Spanish? I cannot remember. I used to know these things. Yeah. All right. Um what's green in uh Chinese? <laughs> uh Lan Lu Hong Verda? Not Verda. Oh, is it oh, Ver, Verde? Verde, thank you, Jelfia and Dan. <laughs> Send your Verde. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be good at Spanish. I am no longer. I Jelfia, need six cards. You should throw down 10 channel points I, for somebody. I needed, to, I needed to get my cards. Yeah. Three, four. I'm going to. Copy me. You're a copycat. I'm going to actually do. I'm going to do. I'm going to do three of these and two of these. All right. Mm -hmm. It you, you pay cards. As in Salsa Verde. That's right. I need to advance on tracks. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to do this. Oh, it cost one. Oh. Yeah, one card. You can show everybody what it is. She did Discovery of Fire. 
Place one cube on an available lock space. That seems good. What's fuel? What's fuel? Yeah. Fuel of what? I don't know. A fuel card is a card that you put down like this. Oh. A dashboard card is the teal ones. So if it's not a, a teal card, it's like, a fuel so card. So read that. Gain three of whatever if you played at least three fuel cards of the active theme this round. Oh. Gain three chips or cards or cubes. So I'm going to discard that to pay for this. <laughs> okay, this is a flexo card? Yeah. I'm going to put a lock in on there. No! No, 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 Why? no. Why? It seemed no. like a good play. It is the good play. Is it? No, so it's his turn. So he flips one. He flips over a flexo card. Is that the case? That's what I'm my understanding. I'm looking. Flip over a flexo card. Place a number of cubes equal to the card's value on the rule panel at the bottom of the card. That's this one? Yeah. One. Is that all he does? That's all he does. It's not times two? Times mm, no. Okay, I don't know. He was he is gonna move to so when scoring the rule panels, mm -hmm. flip over a flexo card and move the rule panel marker a number of steps equal to the value of the card in the direction of the arrow. If it indicates it should Move in a direction that's reached a limit, it'll move as far as possible. I don't know what the times two, because I'd have to look at all the rest of these cards. Looks like they all say times two on it. I don't understand that part. Does he always get times two if he's there? I don't know. I don't know the answers to these questions. Do not know. Do you want to put the Arabian deck back? Do I want to put the Arabian deck back? Sure. Great. Do, do, do. So, if there is a cube with a little scoop underneath, I believe that means these cubes and not these cubes. I am looking. Oh. Then I did it wrong. But yeah. What does it say? Well, I was. I, I took it from my my. From the implicated play from the general supply. Okay, so I did it wrong. So, cool. That's that even you, better. That gives you a better one. That's even better. So you will notice there is a cube. Cube with scoop on the bottom is general supply from the supply. Yeah, we like that. It doesn't go discarded right away, or does it? Um, I no, it does not actually. Oh, okay. Um, remember, cleanup phase. Discard all fuel cards. Okay. So no. You oh, okay. Keep it. So you can keep track. Yeah, makes sense. I guess. Yeah. Yes. What is that? What does that mean? Oh, that was a tiebreaker check. Tiebreaker. God, that card is really good. Gain one item. Oh, that's horrible. I mean, I've heard the term salsa verde, but I don't know what it is. Well, that seems to be fairly fantastic. Okay. Green salsa. Sounds gross. Gross. Well, I, I really don't want you guys to have that. It's fine. 
Everything's fine. All right, I've got a tariff. No, this. Oh. Oh, the number? If there's a number on it, I have to pay that amount. Oh, what? A num there's a, that hashtag symbol. The, oh, the number, round number symbol. Yeah, the round number. I do have one of those. I'm going to discard it right now. <laughs> well, yeah. Because reasons. Well, in theory, it means it's better earlier on. Correct. So you'd be paying for having an ability now. Right. So I'm going to discard these two. Sure. That is sci-fi. And this is that. Okay. Um, I'm going to pay one less for each card that I play after this one. All right. I'm going to do, hey, hey. another discover. Oh. Oh. I don't want to. I like my cards. Oh, man. Or if you want both green and red salsa, you ask for Christmas salsa. Wow. You know what? I'm not going to do that. No, I am. I am going to. No, I'm not. Yes, <laughs> I am. You am? Yes, I am. Fine, I'll just do it. Discarding that. What are you doing? I got a discovery of fire again. It's like a second discovery. Place of fire. another lock. I'll do that. Oh, gonna tie break him? Maybe. All right, you do the uh, Vared turn. He's going to place one cube on the theme track. No. Yeah, that's what he did. That's exactly what he did. Oh, man. I screwed this up badly. You get a discount, though. Well, there's a problem with that. I like the idea of Christmas also. I am going to place on the tiebreaker track. Oh, I forgot you could just do that. You place an energy cube. Oh, all right. Place an energy cube is one of the things you can do. Yeah, I'm going to play this unstable droid. What is it? Gain one, three, six, ten. Oh, it's a set collection. A set of different these. Uh, for different unstable droids? Yeah. Or different? Different sci fi. Different sci fi things. Pictures, I guess. I don't know. Got you. All right, he goes. He goes. He is going to place one on the mm -hmm. track you're going for. Yeah, well, next time maybe. Ruined. How do you place cubes on the... Oh, you can just do it as your action. Yes, instead oh. of playing a card. You do it... You do it place an energy cube or you play a card. Got it. I remember. You remember. It's going to be fun. <laughs> yes. When I take things, can I choose a variety? Yeah. I can? Pretty sure. Well, that's what I'm going to look. Flexo cards. No. <laughs> it's funny. There is, there is no clarification for this one. I mean, I think 
It's whatever the rule is for drawing cards, right? If it says gain what? What the rule is for drawing cards? Yeah, isn't it draw a card? Is that what you're asking about? No. Gain oh. one cube or card or um, chip for each something. Can I choose one and one? Can I choose, must I choose the same thing over and over? Um, if it's a slash, I think. Mm, it's the, it's the three-way symbol. Yeah, it's not on the back of the rules. It is, it is this symbol. Yeah. Yeah, gain one for each rule panel containing exactly one cube of one player. If there were three of those, what do you get? It says an item. Energy cube card chip. So I, I guess it's gain one item for each whatever. You yeah. get to choose what you want, I guess. Yeah, I don't remember. I feel like we, we did have this discussion, but I don't remember the rules. I do not remember the outcome. Yep. I do not remember. Uh, me, I guess. Yep. Another tiebreaker. I want to go up there, too. Tiebreaker? Yeah. Him. Two on the cards. How do you know it's two? Because of this? Yes. Got it. Correct. Wow, I don't like that. I'm going to pass. Uh, then he passes. Yes. Paying one less for this. Gain one thing for each cube on the tiebreaker track. Wow. That would be five. I am going to gain. Three. Could do four and a card. Four and a card. Well, that doesn't help a lot. Uh, it can help since y'all are all past. Untap up to one tap thing or draw two sci-fi cards. Hey, I'm going to draw two sci-fi cards. Look at two nuclear, no, electrons. Flip any one face up. So which of these directions do I want to go is the question. I can flip one face up and put a times two next to any of them. Oh, flip any one. I looked at two. I can flip something entirely different face up. And then I can put a and put this next to any. When do we roll a die? I don't remember. I probably there's a card for it. Mm. I would, I would guess. That would be risky. Okay. I'm going to play Velociraptor and discarding the trade vessel. Move one of my things one step. Everyone else goes the opposite way.
So do I want flexibility with paying with thing for things? Or do I just want to get chips? No, because he's going to change. If he gets this, he's and he is going to get that. He's going to make some, some big changes on how things are paid. And I think I want to be ready for it. So I'm going to move you jokers down. I'm going up. All right. Last but not least, I got four of these to distribute. Well, you don't lose them, though, if you don't spend them, right? Yeah, but why would I not want to win these? No, it's fine. I just was... I was just wondering, because sure I have two left over I don't want to lose. Two what? Cards? No, two two of these. I don't lose them, though. But that's all I'm asking. You, you're asking. You're. I thought you were telling. I'm asking. Okay, then that's, that's a different thing. I can look. I do not see anywhere where you lose them. I don't see anything where you lose them. So... That's that, and that's that, and that's that. He will always tie break on the theme track. I don't care much for this one way or the other, but at least it'll move my my token. You know, one way or the other. Really want that. Oh, we were supposed to keep these if you played it. We're supposed to keep the you what? played that. Yes, but it, it, is this what we're going to spend time on? Because uh, it's your turn still. We're, just... we're about to finish the round. Right, but you get two movements if you win the region, right? So oh, you're supposed to keep whatever you've played. You're right. I don't think we've played any more. No, no, all of these were just, all these are burnt except for this. Okay. This one is this, which is this. That's that one. I get to move two spaces. Well, that makes me want to get it now. Sure, why not? And then I'm going to double the amount of cubes on a spot. Well, I don't have to double the amount of cubes on a spot. Why do you automatically break ties over there? I will if I do this. Yeah. Okay. I'll just hold on to it because I do have a hand size of an amount. So <laughs> I revealed that a little too early. All right, uh, starting with that up oh, there. Um, once all players have passed, starting with the theme rule panel. So he has got that, so he loses it. And um. He will always use a tiebreaker cube when he t a tiebreaker cube when he wins a rule panel. Flip a flexo card and move the rule panel the number of steps equal to the value of the card. The number of steps equal to the in the direction of the arrow pointed to the opponent symbol going down. Well, there is no down. If 
I'm assuming he wants it to be this, which is the draw cards, no? No, it's towards this way. Mm, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the winning of the thing. Right, it's saying go towards where the person is. The person that's, is there. Mm, that way. I'm not talking about the evolution disc. I'm talking about scoring the panel. This allows you to select this. This is what I'm talking about. This. Okay. This. And there's not a direction, so I'm looking. Mm, they don't say. When a location for Flexo's actions need to be determined, flip a card and execute the action on the rule panel of the direction indicated on the card. I don't know the rule for it. I guess I don't know. Yes, you are correct that this moves towards the electron side. Uh, no, yes. I don't think it's times two because they all say times two. It's a, this literally says move the evolution disc one step. I don't know what the times two means. That's for matching. That's for you. Like if you match that's, it. That's me, yes. So he's moving towards the... According to this, he's moving towards the neutron, no, I mean, electron side. Yeah. So that, that part I get. I just don't know whether he's going to move the theme. I thought he was going to move the theme. But it doesn't say. Um, this basically implies that it moves two steps. So... In the direction of the arrow on the card pointed to the opponent symbol. So, like, if it was this, he'd move it two spaces. That's clear. That part is clear. But we don't know. Oh, you know what? We could do it counterclockwise, clockwise, two spaces. That's fine. I mean, in without any other knowledge, that's pretty much what we'd have to do. Um... Do I guess we keep these, right? Yeah. The 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 change tokens. Yeah. I guess the change out tokens. Anyway, we finished that one. Now we go to this one. Where did my cube go? We remove his discs. He moves one space into this direction. Uh and he goes one space down. Oh, if he has not yet moved, flip a flexo card and move the disc one step in the direction. So we did that slightly wrong. That's two spaces. That he's moving down that way. So that that's correct. He moves one step and one this direction. So, but like once he go ahead, the arrow is pointing this way, so it was here, it's nowhere to go, so it oh, stays up. Yes, you're right. Okay, and this one up, so yes, you're correct. Okay, it does stay now. If he's already moving, he is going to continue in that direction, so he would not have even had to draw a second card. The second card is for this. Um, this I am in the lead, I'm gonna go this way. And that way. I can no longer use them. Everyone else is just going to get a, a three to one. I want the worst one possible. Doesn't make sense to remove it one to one. And I remove my cube. Um, he has won this. He goes here. He moves. Can't move any farther. And he has already moved in this direction. He will move yet another direction. Uh, this, uh, I'm going to break the tie and I will become first player and move, I want to go upward or downward? Hmm. 
How did I go down on that track? I moved you down. Mm, okay. Fine. It's the Velociraptor. Okay. I went up. Everyone else went the opposite direction. That's why he moved, he had already gone that direction. Now I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. Whether I want to start gaining or losing, I think I'm going to go in the gain direction because if nothing else, they are worth chip points. Um, I have got this one. Uh, I like cubes. And I have, I have flexibility of payment pretty much. I think the more, well, the more cubes I have, let's see, these are locked and I will never get them. That's the downside with all this. So I guess leaving it at three is my best option. I get this one. Now this doesn't mean I'm winning anything. I just get to maneuver where my discs are. Uh, I like cards and I like more cards. Um, and we're good. Hopefully I don't get minus chips on all of those plus So you're keeping plus it at three? I'm keeping it at three only because if I get four and you get three, that's better than me getting seven and y'all getting six. Per disc, I am still... It's, it's... I have one and a quarter discs for every one of yours. If it's six and seven, it's okay. a little bit less Whatever than you that. Want. That's what I want. All right, now, uh, we ditch our fuel cards into the appropriate piles. And then we switch, we move the round. Move the cu cubes on the tiebreaker track. And you already moved the round marker, and we go to setup again. This is a lot faster with two with two players. Oh yeah, 100%. 100%. Gain an exchange token of the current value, uh, three to one and three to one. You get nothing. I get it. I can't use it. Oh. I can always go back up this direction if I need it. Okay. Uh, star player gain chips. I gain three chips. One. Was I two, supposed three. to gain three last time? Mm, oh, no. Cause no, I was you had two. two. All right. You get one. Okay. Fine. Take energy cubes. I get four. You get three. Draw cards in player order. Oh, I am now star player. So that would be me in player order. I get seven cards. Let's see. You already have some set collection for that already. I assume I need to have the different pictures, all the different areas down. I bet. Uh, I think there's probably one for each theme. Uh, I need them all. Uh, it's in the rules. Yes, one, two, three, or four differently named set collection cards. Yeah. So an unstable droid is, they're all in this deck. So you're going to be going after the other three. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. Fine. That, that, that makes sense. Because two unstable droids is two, two ones. Uh, for two points total. If you had two differently named, it's three. Three differently named is six. Three of the same named is three. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, for sure you want the other ones. It doesn't matter what I get. So, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Okay. See, he doesn't care what he plays. So he's probably better off moving down, down the line instead of up the line. You. Uh, it's me. Mario. Oh, that's right. That's why I draw those. Well, that would have been good if I had kept it. Oh, I do have it. Well, that's nice if I hold on to it. Well, that sucks for right now. We're paying cards. I can also pay chips. Not sure I like paying chips. It's a formation of a plan. Yeah. It, since since we have to decide how we're going to play these, we got to make sure that we do them in the right order. Oh, that's not good. All right, what is the game board? Uh, is, th is this considered part of the game board? I would say, yeah. Well, in that case. What direction do I want to move? I'll play the scientist discarding two of these. Gain three things if none of your discs are next to a nu uh, nuclear. Keep wanting to say neutron. I'll take uh, three. You can you can split them. Yeah. Fishing for it. He goes. He goes. Oh, we were supposed to draw three. Oh uh, yeah. Well, well, let's find out where where we have to backtrack. Um, something on the tiebreaker track. He adds one cube to the. So are we supposed to do anything? I'm gonna double double check. Income phase. Yeah, it doesn't say we're supposed to do start for us at all. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, he adds it in the first available column. So and then he puts a times two. Flip one flex of card to determine which rule panel is affected. The, the, this, um, 
on the probably the direction of the arrow symbol which is here well that could be devastating for me <laughs> we will see no and, the blue ones are always good the blue ones are always good yeah ah well in that case all right so now it's his turn mm -hmm. now it's his turn he puts one on the theme oops wrong stack and okay. so we don't have to retcon anything. Mm. Uh, then what? You did that. I'm gonna no. I'm going to play I don't know. a up there on six. Yeah. He goes. He puts none. <clears throat> well, that's good. Now do my Stargate, spending two cards. Place a supply cube above or below each on that track. Holy crap. Above and below, and above, and above, and above, <laughs> and below. Yeah. Well, screws me. I thought that was pretty good. It kills this. Oh, yeah, it does. That's why I asked if this was part of the game board. I guess I can look on the clarifications. I don't think I see it. RB43. This, incl this includes locked cubes and cubes on the tiebreaker track. <laughs> Screwed. His turn. His turn. Well, at least I don't have to fight him because he was getting one and one. I was like, zero? <gasps> there's hope. No, there's not hope. There's not hope. Wow. I'm assuming cards will override the rules because those are the the rules around. Mm -hmm. Except no.
How many of these can I do? That is my question. I'd be better off not playing cubes because he keeps playing cubes. I want a little more control. Yeah, but five players is no control. There, yeah, that's you really can't do anything the direction that you want it, and that it's really it's really not good. I am going to play this for two cards. One of them is going to be the card that I just got screwed out of. More than at least two players, which is great in a five-player game. In a three-player game, you just can't do it. Not easily, anyway. And then I'm going to get rid of the this doubling one. Um, I'm going to move up a step, move everybody else down a step. Right. Okay, me? Yep, yeah, you. Him. Him. Two on the... This. Come on. It's killing you on that. Sucks. Let's see, I'm not going to be able to play that. Or am I? It cost me two. I can, oh, I can pay, I can pay chips. Nobody else can pay chips. Where do I want to go? Don't know. Cup of the effect of a dashboard card without paying its cost. It does cost me one for the thing, though. I'm only going to get one of these, I think. Spend points. Spend points? Yeah. I might do that. It's not a bad plan. As much as I want this, I can't do it. Discarding that, as much as I want it, I'm not going to get two on three different. <laughs> I moved you toward the points. You can fix that in a second. Here? Yeah. Him. One cube on the circle one. This. Well, shoot. I was going to take that one
and you got tiebreakers galore. All day. All day, every day. Yeah. <laughs> you have a crap ton. <laughs> I'm breaking the rules. I mean, it's fantastic how many you have. I just got to say. Yeah, it's a lot. It is a lot. You have a bunch of cubes. You have four cubes. Yeah. That's what's happening. That's what's happening, folks. Yeah. It's what's happening. Thing about making him spend his tiebreaker cubes. Okay. It puts me out there. <sighs> okay. I guess. Um. <coughs> Make him spend them. Ah. Should get my Sonic from the other room. Nice. Fairly sure you're going to get that. What if nobody takes the tiebreaker? Tiebreaker track. Uh, the rule panel's not scored. It remains as is. Okay, his turn. His turn. Uh, no, he passes. No, he does not pass. I have not passed yet. Nope. I thought about passing. Yeah. One on the cube thing. Jerk. <sighs> you. Well, yeah, that's the problem. I'm passing. That probably gives you a little bit more stability. Mm-hmm. And then I will pass. All right. Scoring of the panels. He has this. He tie breaks. He has it. We are moving it. Two spaces. Two spaces. Does not matter clockwise or counter because there it is. And he is going to move that way because he is already going that way. All right, scoring this one. He has option. He will use it. He has got it. Well, you, do you lose these two? No. Everything come off? No. Know. Okay. You don't remember this? No. Nope. Yeah. fine. Um, the player with the majority then discards their energy cubes from the open space into the general supply. Mm. Remember that these stick around, which is why I did it. Um, did I flip that or no? no. Um, so we move it. It's going to go one space towards this. He's already in this direction. He goes up. Mm. Okay. Okay. Did I do that the right number of spaces? Yeah, because we did it two spaces. This one, I can choose to or I can leave it. I mean, all only thing that happens is that I immediately get it. Uh, if I don't use it, I get one chip for it. Yep. You've got first tiebreaker way over there. I mean, it's probably good just to get the the 
chips for it now versus the end of the game. Okay. Because he could start running that direction. Um, this will force him to run up that direction. Sure, I will do it. So he keeps his I moved this direction. Only six. Three times two. Well, that blows. You don't just keep it hidden until the end of the game? I don't, know. I don't keep the times two. Okay, I wasn't sure. I mean, how do I keep the times two? Uh, I'm, I'm going to look. You immediately flip the token, gain the chips, multiply it, take the token, discard the multipliers, leave the disc on the closest spot. So, not that I get anything for this, but there On it is. On the closest spot. No, I will read it again. Um, they then take the token. Okay, fine. So, there's no token left to claim. Because, see, some of them are face up. That, where is it? Oh, this was supposed to be face up? Whatever the one that was face up, I turned it face up. Nah, that was face up. Yes, I turned it face up. Alright. So, that is... Clear to everyone what it, what the dealio is. All right, next. This two goes out. He moves it zero. He likes it like it is. He's already this direction. He clears the token. It would have been three. But I assume he also clears the token. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, if, if it has been removed from the board, change to the opposite direction. So, yeah. Um, this. Remove the red. Uh, you're taking start player. And you want to go which direction? That is a risk. I'll go towards blue. You Towards this. Me, me blue or the blue? The, the dark blue. Thank you. Now, I am also dark blue, but sure. I, I think I know what you mean. Yeah, it's basically you're only losing... You would effectively lose four points with getting what this is. You're probably not getting this. So... It's fine. Next. Um, you get this. You can... Move it to wherever you want. I'll go times two to get the tokens. The token. Yeah. You are getting the token. Yes. Four times two is eight chips. I'll take it. Yes, you will. And I'll like it. And you'll like it. But where do you want this? That should have been first. Oh. Um, it's going to stay where it is. Okay. Uh, this... We tie. Would you like to use this tiebreaker? If I said no, would you get to use yours? That is a good, that is an excellent question. That is an excellent question. The first tied player that has an energy cube on the track in either A or B may choose to move that energy cube to the open space. If they choose not to break the tie, the next tied player who has an energy cube on this track. Okay, so you would be able to. You, uh, uh, it's not, it's not clear whether you get to choose your, one of the first four. But it does say player and not not the one on that. So, okay. This is the way I'm looking at it. This is your first one. You then choose. Then does it go to this one and you choose and this one and you choose and this one and you choose and this one I choose. Then you choose if I choose not or is it player? It looks like player. 
Going from left to right, the first tied player that has an energy cube on the track in either A or B may choose to move that energy cube to the open space of the currently contested rule panel container. It is, it's unclear, but. Okay, well, what do we want to go with? I mean, I don't think it matters a great deal. I mean... I mean, if I can choose, I'll choose the A in slot four. Yeah, that is that is the unclear part. So, well, let's look at the geek. There's not much there. Well, I don't have any other suggestions. I'll play it however you want, is what I'm saying. It's It's unclear. I want to know what the intent was. I don't know what the intent was. Is the intent that you get to choose which of yours that you get to move, or or is it that if you don't take your first opportunity, I get the next opportunity? That is unclear. What is? Huh, I don't know. Tiebreaker track. You look at columns and don't care about rows. There is an example. Does the example clear it? No, because there is one on each. Lots of unclear things. Yeah, I was reading that. Yeah, and so not there. Our four hour game by Flip Scott. <laughs> uh, you know, just go ahead and do any of your columns you want to do, I guess. It's, I don't guess it matters. All right, I'll choose. So, four A. Yeah. Um, would you like to spend no. would I like to spend what would you like to spend do you get to choose if you also go up there no you broke the tie alright that's the point okay three and up one alright uh, that's it alright and then we move everything down. Is that the thing? Discard your fuel. One of these. One of these. Move the cubes. You get three chips. I get one. I believe we just lose those. Yeah, you keep putting yes, them. Yes, to the gen. What? You keep putting them in my supply. Yeah, I, so. I can't. Yeah, I can't really reach your others. Right, I'm moving them right there. Thank you. Did you get your chips? Yes. Move the round marker and we continue. Draw up, let's see. Draw cards, seven cards. Four cards. Four cards. This is hand limit. Uh, get a three to one. That you get zero. I get three. three. All right. So we're still on Jurassic, which is bad. Jurassic is bad? Yeah. Oh, you want to move the theme. I got you. I get four cards. Okay. So 
this guy goes three cards? Uh, yes. One, two, three. All lock. right, he put something on a lock. Processing. We flip a card. And if there are none available, I guess he doesn't get it. Circle. He puts a times two. On a location in the direction. On the chip in this direction. Wow. Well, I hope that's not bad. <laughs> it could be really bad for me. Puts a tiebreaker. He puts a tiebreaker on the first available spot, which is two. All right. Oh, I didn't get cubes. I didn't get five cubes. Uh, you didn't get cubes. One cube. That would be one. You should you you put it there. Yeah, I got a lot of points, so maybe it'll be great. It's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. I started this mess. Mess. Discarding that to Discard. play this condition. Gain three if there are at least three cubes on that track. Guess what? <laughs> there are plenty of cubes on the tiebreaker One, two, track. Three. That seems like it. This card up to two from my something. Oh. 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 Mm. I see. I don't know why that is good. Why did I do that? I can play sci-fi. Discard, when I tap it, discard two cards to take four cubes or pay two cubes to draw four cards. Okay. Uh, I need to pay a card for that. Yep. So tell me this. This fossil card. Yep. At the beginning of the round, draw one Jurassic. You may always play Jurassic cards. I guess the only good thing for that, it costs you one, currently two cards, to be able to draw one free card, and you can always play those. I guess it's good. I had it you. in the first round. So, meaning, if this ever gets moved to here and you're only playing these, you can always play the Jurassic Park. You can always play just, just the Jurassic if you needed it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not not great now, but right. it could be good early. Yeah, but then it costs you three. Ah, I know. And then Lilith spends you. Yeah, me? Yeah, you. Um, Did we do him? I don't know. I don't think we did him. Sorry. He gets one on the... This... I'm going to play and then he will go I'll play this thing this thing what is it I gain a credit when you play a fist at me mm. and then you tap it when you use it I guess yeah it's a defender card seems good he does one on the cards. Hand of cards. No, douchebag. Well, I will combat that. You. Right. 
I will play this. Gain one for each flipped or empty this space, and there's four empties, so. Are there four empties? One, two, three. Flip. I will take. Nice. One on card draw. Jerk. Let's see. He will play tiebreakers. Caveman! I got a caveman. Mm, I needed that. Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah. Um. Nice. Him. One on the... This. No, jerk. <laughs> Shake fist. Yeah. Fine, I'll just let him kill it off again. Make him spend it. Yep. Make him spend it. Caveman. Yeah, you're getting all of them. Searching high and low for them, but nope. Which one did you do? Card draw? Yep. No. Yep. I wonder if I can drop down <laughs> quick enough. He goes. Yeah. Zero. One, two, three. Make sure somebody uses these tiebreakers. He goes one on the cube spot jerk. Uh, Nailed you where it hurts. Yep. Wasn't worth my time. Yeah. Was not. Excuse me. Well, I mean, it doesn't really help me to push myself back really quickly.
One on the credit spot. Ridiculous. Jerk. Oh, that's so bad. Mm-hmm. All right. I have an energy manager. Mm -hmm. Gain three if you have at least one cube on five different tiles. Ruled tiles. One, two, three, four, five. I have to spend one of something. How about a credit? And I get three of something. I could spend a card and get three cards. I really want that one. I really want that one. I am going to discard a credit to get a credit and two things. And two things. How about two cards? I do like cards. One. Oh, I can't. I can't. I guess I can look considering it's, well, I'll draw two from the same. I have a question. Yes. Um, do you know the values of these tokens, the yellow ones? I... Can probably look it up. Probably at the beginning. Yeah. Um, when someone plays in a, I forgot to mention when someone plays an attack card with a fist, you can choose to at that time play the shield card. No, it says if they're a tap card, they must have been played on a previous turn in order to be tapped during an opponent's right. turn. Right. But it says if they are a fuel card, they can be played on an opponent's turn. I'm guessing there's something you can immediately play. There are some immediates, yeah. So, I have not seen an immediate. Yes. Zero, there are not any negatives. I thought there were. I thought there was too. Zero one one two two three three nuclear. Hmm. Electron three three four four five five six. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. So I thought there were negative. There is a zero. Oh, remember this is negative. If you're close but you are behind, you're gonna get that minus two. Do uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He goes. No. Zero. Yes. Discard up to two cards from my dashboard. Gain two for each discarded card. I can discard these two and gain two things for each of the discarded cards. I'm not going to get that anyway, so why not? Let's get four somethings. I'm going to get one and three. One card. Hmm. Well, I'll play this. This. Get two of these. Get, gain any. Cancel any. Cancel yeah. any attack. Oh, that was the one we're talking about. Yeah. Him. One on the card hold. No, you jerk. Really wants that area. I guess he does. <laughs> Shoot.
That bird is going crazy out there. Are you hearing it? Oh, yeah. It's going oh crazy. They, like, don't like each other. No. Oh, that's why that's good. Because I can do that multiple times. They're fighting over decorum in the nest. <laughs> no, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> no, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Place a cube on an available lock. I have a question. If I have a card that lets me take all, let me, let me I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. Cause I don't know what it is. Nope, of course there's not there's not a clarification on that. Where do I want the lock? <laughs> Fine. Um. I have to pay one something for it. Almost kept it. Played it later. Go there. Where? Here? Yeah, he goes. He goes. Zero. Woohoo! That's good. I'm going to discard. I'm going to pay for that with one. Do I. Tap it whenever I want. Tapping a card is not an action. You can do it at any point on your turn. Or an opponent if it's a attack or a shield. Blah, blah, blah. I am going to do three of these. I mean, it had to be this, so you did it wrong. What? Just draw three of the... Uh, the of the, the same theme? Of this theme. No. Of the same theme. Oh, uh, okay. Of the same theme. I can do whatever theme I want. Okay. Then, theme okay. or theme rule panel. Mm. It's not. It's not the active theme. It's the same theme. I can't draw these three. I can draw three from here. Okay. And that's exactly what I chose. Keep one, discard the others. Although I do like this. You know, now that I have this. Discard those two. You. I'm putting them in the wrong place. I'm sorry. No more. Because we are probably going to shuffle this. I'm going to pass. And he is going to pass as well. Yeah, so it's you. Copy the effect of one of your played fuel or dashboard cards without paying its cost. Now, wait a second. 
I did this wrong. Discard up to two cards from your dashboard. That does not count fuel cards. So I would have had to have done two dashboard cards. I guess I can kill the other caveman. I think you had like that one or what? something. The one that you discarded. Oh, it doesn't matter. But yeah, it was, it was exactly this one because it was, it was the uh, remember it was the credit. Yeah, I remember that as well. I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to get this. So I was like, you know. Yeah. Um. But now what I want to do with this, I guess place one on an available because I, I thought I was going to, hey, I kill two more of these, but no, it's not what I thought it was. Yeah. Duchess, we aren't going to Origins. Decided to skip it. Well, that changes things for me a little bit. We'll go to Gen Con. We'll go to Dice Tower. I prefer the Play Cons. Um, yeah. BGG doesn't go to conventions anymore, so I'm less likely to attend Origin specifically. Are you good? Is it me? No, I am. No, you passed, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, you can. It, it's you. Yeah. Um, I can pay two to draw four cards. I'm a little hesitant about it. Well, the only things I can play are these two. I can go to all the cons. I just don't really want to. <laughs> yeah, industry cons, they're exciting if you haven't seen new things in a while, but we get all the new things. So two and two. Uh, I could get these. Put these back. It's really, really, really big. This game, this board. This board is huge. It, like, <laughs> I can't reach across the table. <laughs> oh. Are you working for check games? And your draw. I don't understand this. Oh, the rule setting. This seems really specific and I'm going to, I'm going to reveal this. I'm going to reveal this just to show you I, that this is like nearly impossible. Okay. Gain three things. Mm -hmm. If your draw, no, your hand equals five. Exactly five. Okay. And not or. And your draw equals six. Oh, wow. It's really specific. But it's free to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, if my number of cards in hand is five. Oh, no, it's this. <laughs> no. Exactly, no. 
All right, here's my question that I had. Protective shield. Take all your cubes from all the rules panels and distribute them as you wish over all the rules panels, except locked, I assume. Yeah. Now that you have passed, that I can do that more easily. Yeah. So for sure, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to kill limitations because <laughs> reasons. Uh, I'm not getting this. I'm not getting this. I could get this, but I think I'm going to let you get it or him get it or y'all get it. There, I don't think I'm at any risk. I'm going to make sure I'm further ahead on that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, this I've already gotten, but I, mm. this game is very frustrating. It, it can be very frustrating with five people and even you know with what? two I'm people. I'm going to go ahead and keep that there. All right. Keep going. Place one on an available lock space. Okay. That's going to get that. Yeah. Um, I need to pay one card for that. Or one token for that. Well, it, it is mountain. It, it is AP because... It there's, is very There's AP. a lot of ways to gain more cards. And so you can literally, I think when we played five player, there was two people that just kept drawing cards and getting all these bonuses. So I would pass because I would have nothing else to do because it's based on the cards you draw. Yes. And so, you know, I would be sitting there for 15 minutes while other people kept doing stuff and there's no control. You don't have any control over what is happening on the board. Uh, so it's just. Yeah. It, Agreed. It's really, and then he just uh, rearranged all of the cubes, and now I'm not winning anything I was hoping to win, and I can't, re re you know, do anything about fortunately, it. Fortunately, there's just going to be one round left after this. So. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. For one, whoops, I keep it. Gain one thing for each of these pixel, what is this, what is this called? Flexo. <laughs> no. A-L-E-X-A -E thinks that I'm talking to her. Gain one for each of these played by any two players. That's three and two is five. I get five. You can just get five cards and keep going. <laughs> but, no. And then I might as well play this. Each player adds one of their cubes and two of your cubes to any spot. So how are you playing that then? How am I playing it? What are you... Okay. For a credit? Okay. Each player adds one of my cubes... Oh, but it's it doesn't have to be to the same spot? You choose the area and we all add cubes. Uh, not sure that's what it is. Sci-fi wormhole. You know what? I will keep that card. I will keep that credit. I will pass, and that makes it easy. Duchess, um, I, I really didn't like it with five players, but I wanted to try it again, and I figured we could try it again on stream. I thought it would be better with two players, and it is better, surprisingly. <laughs> but it is just, it is very still, it's got a lot of slowness to it. It's very slow. All right. Um, keep these in case I have any of these that score, which I do have one that scores up there. Okay. Um. I get this. I can choose the theme. I am going to choose. Uh, I'll choose the sci-fi theme. Okay. Be 
because what is oh this was my cube that I had on the spot and I'm gonna move two spaces in this direction so you're not gonna play any cards in the last round not gonna play any of the current theme it's any period oh can't I can't play any any cards or any theme cards any any theme cards I guess you could play that, world vendor cards then that's my the the flexo cards yeah. yes that's my point. I'm, I'm double checking that. Yes, that's what I. That's what the plan is. I can play no theme cards. You can always play flexo cards. Okay. So I'm gonna see how this works because I I'm gonna hopefully grab the five. Um, unless he grabs it. Oh, he can't grab it because he didn't win it. So he could win it on the very last turn, I'm guessing. Uh, he wins this. Mm -hmm. He throws that down. He sends it in the two in the low direction. And then he goes up and claims, which it's the zero. Well, that tells us what the other ones, the other ones are not zero. Mm. So he gets this. He sends it one down no one up so it's a two to one and he goes in a direction because he is on the middle spot He goes to the up spot. Oh, he has to go in the up spot because this is gone. Okay. Well. So it doesn't matter. Bury it. You get this. I'm going to go up to where you are. Up. And stay where it is. Okay. Okay. And I get this. Um, I will take first player. I will get this, which is four. Uh, he gets this. He sends it up one. He then goes this direction because it's the only token left. I got this. Uh, I'm going to go up. Do I, I go up one or two? I don't have it, unfortunately. Uh, and I will keep it at three, I think. Okay. And so that's it. We discard our fuel cards. Rocket, rocket, rocket. And then what? Uh, Tiebreakers, you get four credits. What else? Untap. Move around marker and we are good to go. Going around, hand size. It's uh, get it. five. Do it, we only check it at this point? We check it. It says it's at the end of, let me look. The evolution track modifies the amount of cards you may draw up to or hold in the hand. At the end of your turn, plus or minus, you can get more cards in your end during your turn, but at the end of your turn, you must discard down to the rule panel limit. Now, I think it's wrong for them to say the amount of cards you may draw up to, because that's the amount of cards you can draw. 
Well, because you're going to go over your hand limit, so that's the question, is can you go over and then discard down? Mm, you may get more cards in your hand during your turn. So, I'm going to go... This is how many you can draw. You may not draw more than your hand limit allows. Okay, so you can only draw four cards. You may draw. You may not draw more than your hand limit allows. Okay. I, does that mean I can draw five or I can draw four? Well, you have a card in your hand, therefore I well, would say you draw up to five. Okay, I will go with that. Sure. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I'm going. I can go either way. I don't know. It 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 doesn't matter. I will I will I will draw four. Uh -huh. That will be fine. It is it is unclear, and that's probably that's probably the one complaint I've got with this game is that there's a lot of unclear interactions. So. All right, draw some cards. Yeah, I know what I'm drawing. And I lose a credit. Okay. Uh, I get four credits. Um, did you get your two to one? No, you did not. It doesn't really matter. I get six cubes. Uh, did you did get your four cards? Yeah. Okay. And me. Oh, really? I got freaking limitations again. I do actually have a draw of five, but I don't have a hand of six. Weak. Okay. Hit you. I'm looking. One, two, three. All right, I'm gonna do energy manager. Gain two somethings if you have exactly two cubes on two different locations. Uh, and I do have exactly two cubes on two different locations. So might as well credit it, but I cost me one thing. It's gonna be one of these stupid limitations cards. All right, tis you. Okay, I have this. I'll play it. What that? Oh, it's a collection? Yeah. Is that collection? Good. You got three of them? No. I thought you had three of them. Gain three things if your dis. Oh, wait, we didn't do his stuff again. Uh, his stuff, sorry. And then we didn't I, We didn't do his yeah. thing. I'll let you retcon a if lock, you need. A thing, and a thing. A lock on the. Hard thing over here. He can do it. Yep. All right, and then. Balance. One on the, uh, on the first one. I don't know what that is. That is new, isn't it? Yep. Plexo removes one nuclear token. Well, that's apt to affect me. Hand. Nope. Nope. Sure uh, it's already gone. All right, now they go. Now he goes. One. <laughs> this. Great. Jerk face. Gain three if I, my discs are in three nuclear zones. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Four zones. Gain three things. I have to pay something. Mm -hmm. I will pay a credit. 
and get three. So I will ditch two more and get a five. Can I see the rules? Sure. What you need? Uh, clarifications are further this way, starting at the bottom of that page. And I will tap to take four cubes. I'll do this. Oh, I didn't have to do that. Well, I guess I did. One, gain one for each region that has exactly one cube out of an opponent. So four regions have exactly one cube of an opponent. One of green, one of, of one I, player. Oh. Of one of choose an opponent for every place that opponent has one cube, which All that's right. one, two, three, three. 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 Right. Well, I mean, he you could wait a second, he might do another one, but yeah. he, he could also lose you could also lose the ones you have. Yeah. Okay, you. Hello, Dr. Sign. Oh, him. Him. Two on theme. No. Uh, that's unsatisfactory is what that is. Because uh -huh. I want that. I, I'm going to have to slow roll them though. <laughs> I got this. You got this. Discarding that. And Game that three is? If I have two discs that are in the nuclear and other One, sides. Uh, both sides, two oh, and two, two and two, and you do. Yes. Good. You, I don't know. him, him, zero. Good. Gives me a chance to catch that up. Play this. Or that. If I have at least one cube in four different regions, I gain two. So I'll just gain. Yes. Him. One in the circle zone. Mm. Now he is filling up me. Uh. You. Him. One in the circle zone. Thank goodness. One in the circles. <laughs> Yay, keep going. Uh, where else do I want? There's a lot of crap up there. In the credit zone. Ooh, yuck. Really? Yeah, it sucks. See, I can't, I've realized I can't play this. Draw three of the same theme, keep one and discard the others. This is not a theme. Right. Pass. He passes, you go. And that should be whatever I want to do then. Well, I got four cubes, I might as well play them. Great. Okay. 
Go. Sorry. That's what it is. Uh, this, I changed the theme. It doesn't really matter. So I move that way and get five chips. Um, we do this. It doesn't matter where we go to. I'm just going to go this direction so that I can eventually claim this. He gets this and moves this direction because he can. I am going to move this direction. He is going to move this direction. I don't think it matters what we move anything to. You know, whether we move it up or down on the tracks. Uh, if it does, we will retcon it. Uh, he gets first chance. He does it and moves toward the only available token. Uh, tiebreaker, he takes it and moves. He does have a choice. Moves towards this side. Um, not that it matters because he doesn't get points. So we move on to end game scoring, I believe. On tap, move this. I don't think that matters. Oh, and we shift as far left as we can go, filling in any gaps. We didn't play that quite correctly. I don't think it affected any tiebreakers. He did have a couple times that he put it on the two when there was some other stuff there. Um, chips for set collection cards and chips for evolution discs. That's it. You you have the only set collection. You get six. I get four for this one. So there's six, four, ten. Uh, if he had gotten it, that would have been that. Uh, I get three, you get one. You both tie for this, so you both get six. That's super good. I get three for this. Giving up seven, take 10. I get one, you lose one. Nobody gets the five. Nobody gets the one. That should do it. Count them up, see the damage is. 55. 42. 42. That is the meaning of life. Yeah. 42. So you liked it better than last time, but... Uh, I feel that problems. you... It has the same problems as it did with the uh, with five players. Mm -hmm. But not in, not in as long a time. Is, I mean, it was still over two hours, so... Yeah. So yeah, when the box time says seventy five minutes and it's it goes totally long, wrong. <laughs> it's probably seventy five minutes for a player. Um the iconography is not bad, but I warn you, it is extensive. I mean, that's a lot of icons trying to take the glare off of it. That's a heck of a lot of icons to have to deal with. Uh, during a game. At least Though they did it's it not... right on the rules and put it in the back page. Yes, absolutely. So, now, some of them that. some <laughs> of them are not necessarily difficult. Like, these are the six themes. I mean, you're not going to really get those confused. Mm -hmm. um, they do they do have um, a couple of pages where uh, any sort of rules discrepancies on certain cards, they do have them fact- but the, there are a lot of things that need facking in this. And so that can make it difficult. I worry that there can be some common strategies that are always done all the time. Like, you know, whether you want to go down on the hand limit and up on the draw and up on the start player 
there's going to be certain things that are always going to be that you're always going to attempt to do. Also, if you can delay as long as possible, you get a huge advantage over the other players in that at the end, you just sprinkle your cubes wherever you want to put them and that gives you majority and you start down those paths that you want to go down. And ultimately, more than anything else, I think that that's what affected our game right here is that I had four of the majorities or five of the majorities. I had enough of them that I got to go the directions I wanted and that set my game. Um, the the This track, the the exchange track i never used the exchange token you didn't use a single exchange token that you didn't find that you needed to use it so i pushed myself down toward the x meaning you can't use those tokens i'm also going to get the electron bonus when it pops up right so more than likely i i think that there may be a a, a little bit of i'm always going to try to do this i'm all, i'm always going to try to go pot the the nuclear side of some rules and always the electron side of other rules. I did that on my on our first game that we played it. I did it on this one. You didn't win the first one though. And no, but uh, it was, it's the same. It was the same theory. I was going to I was going to try to do that in both games. I don't even remember who won the game that we played. I did. Did you? Good job. So did you kill everyone? I don't think so. I don't, rem I don't remember. I don't. It was a it was a blur to me. But I I just there's certain things that are better than others on the board, and that's what you shoot for. But if everyone shoots for them, I mean, it's also totally luck of the draw. A lot of it is luck of the draw. I will agree. There is knowledge if you know the decks better and know to go for a specific card. Also. Mm. I don't remember any of the cards, but there, I don't remember there, any of there them. is that possibility. Oh, the Velociraptors that I had, where I go one way and push y'all the other way. I mean, it's awful. It's my my whole thing is going for that. Any any resources, any thing. And I did that, and I pushed you off of that. Right. No, right, I know. Right. And so that that, that was, greatly affected your game. So I was like, whatever. Now yeah. I have to do something else. I guess I don't know. Right. Um. But that's one of the things that I think I always want to do. So. Um, I'll kill him. Yeah. I mean, it was good to try it again. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be playing this one again, though. I just, I just, there's too much crazy. I mean, that's, that is the game. So if you like ever changing rules and all these different things you need to keep track of, then, you know, that's kind of cool. And you get to see different cards and do different things each time. But. I don't know. For me, it was just, it's just, it's a bit too much. And it's so for me, it doesn't really hit that spot. And I thought with two players, I would like it more. And I did, but it's more, it's still, it still doesn't give me that warm and funny feeling. So, um, you don't care for air, for area majority games. Not and generally. That, and that has a lot of that. And also not only is it area majority, you're pushing on a track one way or the other. And that's just, another form of majority i'm basically two steps on this track meaning i'm it, probably going to get those points i would probably like it more if there was a rule that you know you can pass and then come back in if you felt mm. the need to unless everybody passes in a row it, it gives you that chance to to retaliate against what people are doing to the regions you're hoping to win. Well, the only problem with that for cubes that you place in regions is that all I have to do is pass, 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 and it's just, it's just a game of chicken. I mean, I don't, I don't know how else to... I, I it's agree. just a bad feeling. I agree. So, I, agree. I don't I don't know how else to fix that. That's all. I when, just, yeah, because when you run out of stuff, you're like, ah, I got nothing left. Um... There can also be bad feelings that pop up if for some reason, let's say that the theme moves and you get shut out. Uh, let's say that, let's say the Velociraptor card came up and this is, remember the, the prehistory deck is a, I think it is a one star or two star attack thing. Where is that? You know, when we're setting up the game, it is a one star attack thing. And that literally could push me up on the theme track to where I use three of the themes 
and lock you into just the current theme. And even worse, if I activate it again, you can't play any theme cards at all. Well, what happens, uh, what's going to happen is, is that you're going to be locked out. I'm going to be able to do anything I want, and you're basically... Uh, constricted to the point where you can't do anything. And then you're fighting over this region, and if you have no say over Which it... Which is the theme region. It's, it's... If, if you can't draw cards, you can't get more cubes. You can't get more cubes. You can't get... You can't get regions. So if I had to actually attacked that theme, it might have been a really miserable game. But the thing is, if this game actually sat at an hour, it would be fine. But it because be... it's so long and so many combos and so many things to think about, it just feels long and it feels painful. That's all. I just, so it's not for me, which is fine. I'm sure people out there will enjoy this. I just, it's just a bit too much for me, I think. Now, when I first heard Rule Benders, I was like, you know, oh, great, Flux. It is a lot better than Flux. But the rules don't change all that much. It's just number of cards, how many credits you draw, how many cards you can hold, yeah, it's a simple, and what you can pay with. It's a cube pusher. It's a, other than that, it's a cube. It's a card player and cube pusher. Yeah. yeah I know you like the set collection. It's um, fine. I I looked and looked and looked, and then you picked up two caveman cards. I'm like, okay, well. Yeah, two in a row. I just. It was like literally two in a row. <laughs> So, you know, all my efforts were for nothing. Right. Uh, so, eh. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you ended up killing them anyway, so, yeah. 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 I don't know. I did yeah. kill them because I, I was actually going to keep one and then start looking at the other decks, but then I saw the card didn't exactly do what I thought it did, so. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um... If this seems like it is your style of game, definitely check out Rule Benders from Game Brewer. Um, or you could check out Stroganoff, which is much better. Yeah, but you're, <laughs> we're playing this so that we can show up this game. But I, I understand. I'm just saying, for me, the Game Brewer game that I prefer right now is Stroganoff, which is a right. deep, deeper Euro game. No, it is which, a game. Which, which is totally my jam. I'm glad you actually at least... Threw out a Game Brewer alternative. To this. Well, that's what I mean. It's the, it's their newest game. I really enjoyed Stroganoff a lot. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Th th this is fine. I would probably try it again. I, I don't know what the sweet spot is. It's probably three. It's probably three because it's it's fine that that the AI does it it. it the AI does make it so that you can play it with two, but only just barely because he's basically just, he was throwing cubes in regions that really upset us both. So there is that. It's not a useless but, AI. But it, no, I agree. It's not a useless AI. I just... But I think, I think a directed third player would be much better. Yeah. Who is also but, limited. As soon as you pass, I know he's passing. Add 75 minutes. And that's good. To the gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. All right. Well, we played it. We tried it again. <laughs> I consider that a win. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, now, there was only... There was, we did check ahead of time to see if if people... Rec if other BGGers recommended this at two. There was only one vote. This was not recommended at It was two. recommended at three, four, and five. But even still, even like... Even still, it was... I think we was, got a feeling for what a third player would be doing. Absolutely. And that's fine. I think the sweet spot is at three, for sure. Um, but it's going to be more than 75 minutes, I think. Um, but yeah, definitely check out <laughs> Rule Benders. 